Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will look at the quad fill hole tool for Maya, which you can pick up from Gabriel's art station linked in the description. It's great value and a really nice tool to add to your tool set. I won't cover how to install the tool. It's easy and clearly explained in the notes when you download. And as you can see, I have it up here on my shelf already. Let's just go ahead and launch it. This tool works best when you have an even quad topology like on this object we have here. Go ahead and select a vert where you have a hole and leaving everything as it is, hit apply. By default, if possible, this tool is going to close the hole and create this nice quad topology. There's this offset functionality down at the bottom, which in specific situations can help to achieve better results by applying either a positive or negative offset to the operation. So let's go ahead and try this. Positive would look like this. And then switching to negative, we get this result. It can be good to at least try these options to see if you prefer the offset result better. So far, this is all well and good if you have an even amount of quads, but what if you don't? Here to the right, we have a similar object, but this hole has not been made of even quads. That's when these alternate actions become handy. These basically tell the tool if we don't have even quads, then either fill or close the hole instead. When just set to none, the tool is going to error and tell you the problem down in the bottom right, as you can see here. The alternate actions work like so, fill hole. Just undo that. And now close hole. Note, you can also force these actions if you do have an even quads, but for whatever reason want the tool to perform these alternate actions instead. The last functionality to talk about is the add inset. Turning this on will allow you to add an inset to the field hole, and we get this nice slider controlling the size of our inset. So let's go ahead and try the inset on this mesh, select the vert, and hit apply. We get this nice inset edge here, which as you can see works great and is handy if you're doing some subdivision modeling and need topology placed in that way. The inset even works in conjunction with the alternate actions. So if we, for example, set to vert and set the tool to fill hole and make sure we have add inset toggled on, you can see it creates some nice topology for us to go in and correct as need be. Such a nice tool. Whether you're using it to fill holes with quads or even as an advanced fill hole tool with inset functionality, I am sure you can get plenty of use out of it. Again, check out Gabriel's art station to pick up this tool and whilst you're there, have a further look around as maybe you will like some of his other tools too. Cool, so I think that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any tools you'd like me to download and try, leave a comment and I'll see if I can make a video on that. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Patreon for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.